We will next describe briefly um, a few different approaches or methods that have been developed for conducting community health assessment. And these include the planned approach to community health, um, as well as um, the assessment protocol for excellence in public health, and a tool called the MAP, or Mobilizing for Action Through Planning and Partnership. We will also discuss a little bit, uh, in a little more depth, the community health improvement process uh, described by the Institute of Medicine in 1997. The first um, approach is called the Planned Approach to Community Health, or PATCH. This was developed by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in 1983 in partnership with state and local health departments and community groups. Uh, this particular approach consists of five phases. First is mobilizing the, the community. Second is collecting and organizing data about the community. The third is choosing health priorities through a process of both reviewing data and um, discussions with the community itself. The fourth phase is developing a comprehensive intervention plan to address the health priorities. And then finally, an evaluation of efforts to, in fact, address the um, the health priorities that have been identified and for which interventions were developed and implemented. The second tool is known as the Assessment Protocol for Excellence in Public Health, or Apex PH. Uh, this was uh, released by NACHO and CDC in 1991. It provides local health departments with a means of enhancing their organizational capacity and strengthening their leadership role in their communities. It consists of three parts. Uh, first is an organizational capacity assessment second, a community process, and a third, which is completing the cycle and going back to uh, the organizational capacity assessment again. Uh, this particular tool um, focuses on organizational capacity a bit more than did the patch uh, tool that we uh, just briefly touched upon. In 1997, the Institute of Medicine in its report on improving health in the community, uh, developed the notion of a community health improvement process, or CHIP, which they described as a process that can support the development of shared community goals for health improvement and the implementation of a planned and integrated approach for achieving those goals. So both a, a piece in which um, goals for the community are identified, and then a plan for implementing uh, various processes, projects, programs, etc., that could hopefully uh, work towards achieving those goals. They based their particular process on two primary interacting cycles, a problem identification and prioritization cycle, and an analysis and implementation cycle. These are shown in the next slide. Here is the next slide. The problem identification prioritization cycle is on the top. The analysis and implementation cycle is on the bottom. The cycle on top consists of three different sets of activities. The first is to form a community health coalition. Then one prepares and analyzes community health profiles. And finally, there's an identification of critical health issues. This problem identification and prioritization cycle corresponds closely to community health assessment. And this is the portion of this cycle with which we will be most concerned in, the, in uh, this particular course on community health assessment. The cycle down below is one in which specific health issues that were identified in the top cycle are further analyzed and various strategies and programs are developed 
to address them and there is a process for monitoring the implementation of those programs and their outcomes. And each individual health issue has its own analysis and implementation cycle. In 2001, NHO, with support from CDC and the Health Resources and Services Administration, um, with input from the APEX Public Health Work Group, uh, developed uh, a tool known as Mobilizing for Action through Planning and Partnership. Uh, this particular tool built upon some of the lessons learned uh, by communities from working with Apex PH. And this is a community-wide strategic planning tool to prioritize public health issues and identify resources for addressing them. <clears throat> it is facilitated by public health leadership. In other words, the public health agency or entity within the community provides the principal leadership to uh, see the process through. And there are multiple phases within this uh, particular uh, map process uh, that are driven by four separate kinds of assessments within the community, of which community health assessment is one. This interesting picture shows the different um, phases of the map process. Uh, I'm not going to go through this here in detail. You're welcome to look at it in more if you would like to. And um, we will actually be talking a bit more about the map process later in the course. Here is a list of the uh, six phases of the map process. The first phase is organizing for success and partnership development. Uh, that's basically getting together community organization or community uh, groups engaging the community to carry through the rest of the process. The second phase is a visioning process, developing a vision for the community of what folks would like to see. The third phase is conducting the four map assessments, which I mentioned earlier. The first is a community themes and strengths assessment. What's good about the community? What can it bring to bear to problems? Second is an assessment of the local public health system. Again, what are its strengths and weaknesses? Third is a community health status assessment. This is closest to our community health assessment that we'll be focusing on in this course. And the fourth is the forces of change assessment, which looks at various typically external factors that may impact uh, the MAP process and its ability to actually carry out uh, some of its um, strategies and actions. The fourth phase is identifying strategic issues based on those assessments. These are particular um, issues that the community decides it should tackle uh, to try to improve health in the community. Um, phase five is formulating specific goals and strategies to address those issues. And then finally, phase six, the action cycle is one in which the specific planning implementation and evaluation is carried out um, for, again, implementing the strategies to uh, try to reach the goals that were identified earlier in the process. Finally, although not a separate process as such, um, the Affordable Care Act um, has a specific um, section in, in it that deals with uh, community health needs assessments, which is now in force and will be a major driver for uh, different communities and hospitals conducting community health assessments in the future. And in particular, section 9007 of the ACA requires nonprofit hospitals to conduct a community health needs assessment at least once every three years and to adopt, quote, implementation strategy to meet the community health needs identified through such assessment in order to maintain their tax exempt status. Now, these assessments must take into account 
input from persons who represent the broad interests of the community served by the hospital facility, including those with special knowledge of or expertise in public health, and the assessments must be made widely available to the public. So again, this is a relatively new uh, development in the area of community health assessment, one that uh, will in fact uh, lead to and already has led to some uh, changes in and different perspectives on community health assessment and will probably lead to a much greater uh, use of community health assessment in communities across the United States. <laughs>